Science. In this video, I'll show you an easy and quick way to find the squares between 1 and 100. You may be in a situation where you need to know the squares of several numbers and not be able to use a calculator like a test, and this is a really easy way. So let's get started. I'm going to first number 1 through 20, okay? And 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now what I'm going to do is make a list of odd numbers that corresponds with them. So the square root of 1 is 1, so I'm going to start with 1, then we go 3, 5, 7, 9, and I'm going to continue all the way down, and I'm matching a odd number with each of the numbers I'm trying to find the squares for, okay? So, and please be careful here because if you get off just a little bit, then um, it'll mess up the whole thing. So, I'm just writing the odd numbers down in order, 35, 37, and then 39. So, what I've done is I've just written 1 through 20 and then a corresponding odd number starting at 1. Now what I do, the square root of 1 is 1. Now to find the square root of 2, I take the corresponding odd number and add it to the previous number's squares. So I have 3 plus 1, because that's the square root of 1, and that is 4. Now for 5, excuse me, for the square, the square not the square root, the square of 3, I will take the corresponding odd number and add it to the square of the previous number, and that is 9, because 5 plus 4 is 9. Now for the square of 4, I take 7 plus 9, and that is 16. Now 9 plus 16 is 25. The square of 6 is 11 plus 25, which is 36. The square of 7 is 13 plus 36, which is 49. Now for 8, I take 15 plus 49, and that's 64. For 9, I take 17 plus 64, and you're beginning to see the pattern. That's an 81. For 100, it's 19 plus 81, and that is 100. Now for 11, it's 100 plus 121, which is 121. For 12, is 144. For 13, 25 plus 144 is 169. And I'm going to continue. Then we have 196. 196 plus 29 is 225. I'm going to continue. I'll pick up the pace a little bit. Then we have 256. And then for 17, 256 plus 33 is 289. And then we have 324. 324 plus 37 equals 361. And then for 20, it is 361 plus 39, which is 400. So now I have gone 1 through 20. Now what I do for the next 20 is, I'll show you. Now for the next 20, I take the 20 and I start my next list at 20 because that gives me the odd number that corresponds with it, because 20 ended with 39. I then write my list 20 through 40, and then a corresponding odd number that goes with each one, 39, 41, 43, 45. I then, I know the um, square of 20 is 400, and then I take for the square of 21, I take 41 plus 400 is 441. For 22, I take 441 plus 43 is 484. Then for the square of 23, 484 plus 45 is 529, and I'm going to continue. We have 576, 625, 676, 729, 784, 841, 900, 961, 1024, 1089, 1156, 1225, etc. down. 40. Now, I'm up to 40. Now, I do the same for the remaining numbers. Okay, I'm ending in 40. 
the square of 40 is 1600 and the odd number is 79 the 79 is important so I transfer that 40 square 1600 the odd is 79 and then I keep my list going of odd numbers 81 83 85 all the way down now notice I made a little mistake here in my adding so you have to be very careful when you add and then I transferred the numbers from 60 and the odd number of 119 and started my list here all the way down to 80 and then last but not least I did the same for 80 to 100 okay and so I transferred 80 and the odd number of 159 started with that 80 odd number 159 and then just to recap the square of 81 I take 161 add it to the square of the previous number and that gives me the square of 81 then I take the square of 81 add it to the odd number of the previous number 6724 and I continue to do this all the way down to 100 anyway a very nice way if you're in a situation where you can't use the calculator and you need to know the squares thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day please subscribe and share